Twice a year I like to go to my favorite sunset spot where it lines up perfectly in October and February. So this app is called Photo Pills and it lets me line up my, my location with where the sun is going to set and where it is right now and even where the moon is. And this is how I plan out a lot of shots. So tonight we're going to walk down to this beach and go right to this spot here at the beginning of it and be able to look all the way down with my 600 millimeter lens and take great photos of the sun when it's huge and dropping right behind the palm trees. This is my point right here and I'm just going to hang out on these rocks when the sun goes down and it's going to go down basically right there behind that cluster of palm trees down at the end. This old 150 to 600 Tamron black. Looks like a bazooka when it's all stressed out. And the nice thing about getting here earlier in the season is that I can go really far back and shoot a long ways down, which means I get to zoom in tighter and then the sun gets bigger because I've zoomed in so much. So if I can get away with shooting this way, I will do it. Let's see. Yeah, not bad. I mean, I think in that 350 to 400 range, 500 or 600 if I'm going vertical like this. What is today, Sunday? I hope there's a lot of sailboats out there because they also make really nice uh, subjects. But otherwise, there's people, there's surfers, nice palm trees down there. So now we just wait for sunset. I kind of miss going over there. We actually used to go there all the time before the fence got put up and did backflips off the wall into the water. All that kind of stuff. It was fun. Um, it's going to kind of go down at a slight angle and it might be just inside the... Uh... Actually, I think what's going to happen is it's going to go down behind the palm trees. I think that's the lineup right here. So I'm gonna kind of try and stand as far out as I can on these, on these rocks and just shoot all the way down. But I really think it's gonna be just kind of in from the beach a little bit and dropping right down through that cluster of palm trees. It'd be kind of a pain, but the ideal spot I think would be further over there around the beach and out on the rocks. Putting more distance between me and that palm grove would make it just gave me a little more like wiggle room to, to zoom in and make that sun even bigger. In Hawaii, the sun goes down really fast, but up in, say, Oregon and Washington, it just seems to linger. It's like it's going more horizontal or something. And so it just falls really slowly, and the light hangs around for an hour after the fact. But here it just goes down, gone, in the end. This, this actually helped, like the 20 feet of difference. It's not terrible, we'll just wait and see. I like it when the sailboats pass behind that, that point down there. It just adds another element to the photo. See how huge the sun is? turning out kind of nice. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And the sun looks huge behind those people that are all the way down there. Got a sailboat going behind them. 
I'm gonna have to zoom out just a little bit to get the whole scene, but hey, this is where it starts to go really fast. And I get to decide exactly what kind of shots I wanna take. Otherwise I'll miss out. Look, it's actually dropping exactly where I hoped it would. <laughs> it's actually really nice. <sighs> Just have to keep switching back and forth between modes here. That sand feels so nice. People didn't move the entire time there in every single shot, but that's okay. Subjects, right? Little people make it nice. <laughs> Actually, this is kind of cool. Oh, never mind. They left. Do some. Vertical shots here, and then I have to get one more clip video. Oops. Look, two two sailboats came out like a minute after the sun went down. That's enough for me. There's no more light, no more color. It's pretty much done. I don't think there's gonna be any glow either, so I got my shots. Bonita, bonita.